What is up guys, Johnny B here again today and we're gonna be bringing you a video on a 2015 Toyota Tundra. As you can see behind me, it's already gotten lifted. It's got some big wheels, but it's missing one thing, one thing that's gonna make it just stand out and make it look that much nicer. And that is a full set of fender flares and they're also paint matched to the correct code and they have like a little bit of texture just like the original Tacomas and Tundras come with. So this is gonna be looking really nice. We're gonna be installing those on the Tundra today and we're gonna show you guys how to do it. So we're gonna be starting off on the right front and this is gonna be a good example to show you how to do the left. It's gonna be the same exact thing. So there's two bolts here and then I think there's a hole that's gonna bolt to this. They have like little plastic clips but you don't have to remove them because you can actually use those to bolt in as you can see from these ones. And then in the front right here, there was two bolts, remove those. So once we put the kit, those bolts, those bolt holes are gonna line up with the kit itself. And then up here, there are two clips. There's one here and one here. And there's like a little piece that comes in the kit that's gonna bolt to that first. And then it's gonna make it flat. And then we're gonna bolt to that piece uh, once we have the actual over fender in. So first step you wanna do is remove all the bolts that are gonna be in the way. Then we're gonna go ahead and put that little plastic piece that goes here. I believe I have it over here take this one so this has has like a sideways angle and then it makes it flat so that's the piece we're going to be using for there before we will go ahead and put the fender flares on you're going to go ahead and put these bolts these bolts are just for decoration you see they're really short so they're going to go there and we're going to bolt them on before we even put the kit on the reason they're for decoration is because you don't really want to drill holes into your fender and everything these are going to be completely removable later on if you decide you don't want them uh, they're just going to bolt to the factory locations and not going to ma be making any new holes, which is really nice. Even though it sucks that these are not real, they're just decorative. But I prefer them this way than having to drill holes and just having like random holes on your truck. Uh, I feel like that would decrease the value of the truck later on in the future. And this way, it doesn't. So let's go ahead and put all these decorative bolts on. And then we can go ahead and test fit it and try to put it on there. But before that, we're going to put the little plastic piece that goes right there. The clip is now on. So we got the flare on, you can see there, bolt, bolt, another bolt there, the two clips that go onto that piece that goes right there, and then the two bolts that are right here. Uh, I did put the little rubber liner that comes with the kit. I had to adjust it the whole time as I was putting it on. Uh, obviously I put it on, but then they kind of get like a little bit of a gap. So the front flares are on. Very simple to install. You just kind of bolt where the factory locations are at and they go on. It's really nice. And then here I clip to that plastic piece that we installed beforehand. And then just everything else gets bolted on the uh, you know, factory bolt holes, which is really nice. I did have to adjust that. And uh, they give you like a special little tool that you can use to do that. It looks like, like this. So you kind of just like stick it in between here and you can uh, just adjust the little rubber liner to make sure that the it's not rubbing on the paint. Looks good. So now we can go ahead and install the rear ones. Here we have a rear one. This is gonna be the left side one because it has like a little divot. And that's gonna be for the gas cap that's right there. So that way it doesn't interfere when you try to open your gas cap. So here's the rear setup. And as you can see, the rear setup has these like clips. And these clips, you can actually bolt straight into them. So you don't even need to remove them. You're just gonna put the over fender right on it. Same thing on the top. Just in the back, it did have a little mud flap and that mud flap had to get uh, removed. So you can see there where it's like dirty from where there was bolts already. But we're gonna be bolting to that same spot. So it's gonna work out perfectly. This is awesome. The, the Tundra already comes, you know, ready to install these. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on here and bolt it all up. So here is the inside of the over fender. Bolted, 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 bolted. Look at that. Bolted on there really nicely.
All right, guys, so there it is. They're installed, super easy to do. You can find these on eBay or Amazon. They're like 100 to 300 bucks, depending on what seller you're looking at for and what design, what texture you want. And uh, they bolt on directly to the original sections of the, of the truck, uh, original bolts actually. And you, only the front requires that little plastic piece that goes right there. But other than that, these are pretty much, I'd say like a two out of 10 difficulty. And anybody can do this. You don't have to be really mechanically experienced. It's super simple to do. Uh, you just need to have a 10 millimeter and uh, some clips and then you're good to go. So truck's looking amazing now with the big wheels and having these new fender flares installed. They're actually lining up really well with the tires. The fitment on it is looking really nice. They used to stick out before, but now with those, it looks nice and flush. So I'm excited. This truck is gonna, you know, look amazing as everybody's, you know, as you're driving around, everybody's gonna be wanting to look at it. So if you guys are looking to do something like this yourself, uh, now you can. So I'm gonna leave a link down below for the parts. And then uh, as always, hope you guys have a great day.